I thought it tasted like vanilla ice cream. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and, I really, and I really liked it. All right, uh, another blind wine tasting. Once again, we've purchased all of the wines from Sometimes Always, our wonderful little partners. Uh, and I'm just really excited to get drinking these because so far, so good from these guys. So let's get into it. wine of the lineup we've got uh, a wondrous little orange orange wine maybe two barocas maybe three a few flips floating around in there maybe natty who knows I'm, as we found out last week i'm terrible at knowing whether wine is natural or not can't tell dreadlocks from business suits oh beautiful like just all citrus peels and demi herbaceousness and mm. oh that's fun a funky finish as well Oh, I reckon I like it is what I reckon. Wow, that's really cool. I love it. I'm just gonna put down, it's like, I think it's like a Fiano Greco thing. If, if not, it's probably something weird that I've never heard of. Probably Old World, if this is from Australia. I'll be most impressed as well. It's really hard to do this style. Gonna drop a cheeky 35 bucks. I'm gonna grab three bottles. Classic looking white wine. Nice and clear, beautiful color to it. This looks like it has bubbles in it. Have we had a bubbly one? Have we had a sparkling one yet? I feel like we haven't had a sparkling one yet. Maybe this isn't sparkling. Yeah, right. Very pristine, very pretty, very delicate. Uh, really sitting in Riesling territory already, straight off the bat, and maybe even Semillon. Mm, I'm falling into the trap of thinking every white wine I smell is Chardonnay again. It's a little bit stinky, uh, a little bit reductive. Not a, necessarily a bad thing. Actually, I think this sort of tightens this wine up a little bit more. Definitely got chalky acid. Um, a nice, again, floral, lime zesty thing going on. Uh, it's certainly not the, it's not my favorite. Uh, Money-wise, 40 bucks, let's say. $40, and I'd be stoked if, that is, if that's what it is. Great wine, brilliant wine. Moving on with another white wine. Vanilla ice cream. We've got the two heavyweights straight out, and then this is just like, this is a nice little modest textural white variety. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, it might be like a real uh, sort of turbid ferment Riesling or something. I reckon that's gonna be a little bit dearer because it is very clean. It's, it feels like someone's put a lot of time and effort to making it taste the way that it has. Good, good, good one. You wouldn't be, you wouldn't be mad at it, but uh, I'm not gonna be saying you need to try this one. You know, they deserve money for their time. Uh, I'm gonna say it's 55, and that's cool. I want six bottles of that. That's something a bit unique, a bit interesting, a bit nice. I think this needs like a significant amount of time in glass to really open up and I'm spending probably a little bit too much time just going back to it and I think that's really indicative of perhaps the quality I think. Uh, again this wine I think could be a bit of a sleeper, I think this could be worth a pretty penny actually. Wine number four, where are we at? Mmm, lots of like grilled nuts, could be oxidatively handled. Uh, this one a little bit deeper, a little bit denser, a little bit darker. White wine all kind of smells the same to me. And I don't know if I'm wrong in saying that. Great wine, actually. The structure of this is phenomenal. It feels like a, a bit of residual sweetness, actually, to this. Little bit, little bit of that tart that you get from white wine, but then it's also got this nice lifted sweetness I'm feeling. Banana-y stone fruit thing that reminds me a lot of Adelaide Hills um, Chardonnay. And, it, and it's pro if it is an Adelaide Hills Chardonnay, it is one of the, one of the highest orders. Again, 35 bucks, three bottles is probably where I'm going to be uh, on this wine. I think this is fantastic wine. Oh man, if I want, I, I, I hope this is Chardonnay. And if I want Chardonnay, I want it to be like this pretty much all the time. This is brilliant. More color, less clean, a bit more orange going on. Wow, okay. Um, Sauvignon Blanc. Oh man. What's the bet when Henry tries this? He's gonna be all about this. There's a little bit more going on there. It feels like it's got like almost a little bit of a, sort of like an orangey, citrus, mandarin -y sort of notes to it. Stone fruits, like apricots and peaches and all that kind of thing. Great fairy tannins. It smells like actual lychees. Like fresh, juicy, like juice dripping from them, lychees. This is a, a very amazing, Aromatic, great variety. I think this is a really, really good wine. I just don't want this all the time. I don't crave it. 
as much as I do something like the first orange wine, uh, especially if you've got friends that aren't really into wine, this would blow their minds to have something as so overt uh, and, and aromatic uh, in front of them. Probably my favorite wine lineup so far, I reckon. Lucky last. I'm always down for a, a white wine heavy tasting. It's less of a slog sometimes. Uh, and again with crystal clear brilliance and clarity, uh, green highlights. A little bit quiet, but it's still got that kind of like wet rocks mineral thing to it. Okay, this smells more traditional. Uh, it smells more mineralistic. It smells more traditionally what I would associate with white wine growing up. Huge palette. Like it just kind of covers every like, every part of your mouth. It's not like it's a, a really full bodied rich wine. It just, every flavor receptor on my tongue is working overtime at the minute. And it smells like very good Riesling. Uh, could be Gruner, could be of that sort of slight uh, stew of the aromatic white varieties. Oh man, this is really, really tasty. Savvy B, it's another 40 bucks. And I'll go 28 bucks and I'll grab a dozen of that because I know for a fact with that level of acidity, uh, we are definitely going to be um, seeing some wondrous uh, maturation in, uh, in bottle. Pretty could be kind of anything wine. Outstanding, very, very good stuff. Alrighty, well, I loved pretty much all, I loved all of those wines, um, some more than others, but I'm really keen to see what the, the boys think. Uh, okay, uh, wine number one. Uh, I thought this was Skinzy Italian number. Uh, I thought it might have been made in Amphoras. Yeah. We're in the same kind of area. Same area. I thought perhaps an aromatic variety. I think, yeah, Italian Fiano would be a really good one. Viognier would be a good call, was my call. Uh, all right. Cool. What do we got? What do we got? Yeah. Sweet. Woo! Definitely in the ballpark. What do we got? Oh, hello. Oh, he's done it. Oh, oh Cantina Giardino, motherfucker. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, mum. He, he did call that. Prior to it coming out, <laughs> he definitely called that. That's I cool. did do that on camera. He's on fire. Uh, unfortunately, I got the variety wrong. It's Falangino. Very delicious. Very delicious. Outrageously delicious. For uh, for zero ads across the board, this is that's a that's an exceptionally clean cool. 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 Wine number two. Uh, this had reasoning all over it for me. Damn it! I had six bottles for forty bucks. Yeah, three for twenty-five. I'd, I'd three for forty. Forty-five Jeez. bucks. Cool. Right. Okay. Claire Belly is it? What do we got? It's gonna be Chardonnay, isn't it? Oh no, we got Re Hey, Franklin Estate, there we go. Oh, there we go. Man. Yeah. These guys are known for some awesome stuff. Yeah, one of the best uh, vineyards. This is a Poison Hill vineyard. Uh, so this is their, uh, I reckon, one of their top, this is their premium range. Yeah. Not right. quite as impressive for me as their Isolation Ridge. Yeah. Uh, which is arguably one of the best reasons in the country, but still fantastic. Yeah, cool. Fun one. I want to see it in years. I want to see that complexity grow over years and years and years. Agreed. Really yeah. young. It's all it's all stainless steel, so they're not adding any complexity with oak, which is pretty impressive. Mm. Um, and yeah, brilliant. Organically farm. Great. Moving on. Next one, uh, number three. Uh, I said textural Pinot Gris kind of thing. All right, what do we got? Ooh. Ooh. Right, okay. That's yeah, right. okay. And it is. Oh, Chenin Blanc. Nice. Wow. Yes, of course. Awesome. Yes. Cool. So yeah, that is that. It's not as Shenany as I've seen Shenan's look. No. Um, but it's really restrained and quite delicious. Where's the uh, where's the producer from? Uh, Swan Valley, I believe. Uh, number four. I thought this is one of the probably this probably up there was one of the standout ones in the lineup. The yeah, menu. it was good. This is where I started to to go. Yep, perk up a little bit more. What do we got? Thirty Ooh. bucks. Value. Good value. Thirty bucks. Oh Whoa. yeah, really? Yeah, cool. Once, ag this. once again, Luke Lambert with uh, the value for money. Oh um, man. Crudo Shardy, this is excellent stuff. Probably he's like one of my favorite Rieslings. As, uh, Rieslings, Rosés. Uh, Rosé? He does an yeah. amazing Crudo And, and his Syrah as well. And yeah. this uh, sells Bonkers. out as quickly as you've ever seen things sell. Was, again, it's just the price. It's, uh, number four, uh, orange wine. I reckon this is another little new world number. I thought it was really good. Number five. I was all about this. Uh, number, five. number five. Sorry. Oh, yeah. cool. Number Sorry. five. <laughs> I've confused the whole system. That's yeah. my bad. Thanks for checking us out. Go, what do we got? 56. Ooh. Oh, Patrick Sullivan. Yeah, very cool. Excellent. Yeah, very cool. What is that? Uh, let's have a look at the right blend. Uh, field blend. Grown, uh, Patrick Sullivan, blah, 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 blah. Bourbon Shire. I feel like it might be the same vineyard as the Bobar uh, Fanny Finch. I would say it probably uh, is. <laughs> so, That's amazing. Uh, skinzy, but yeah, this is really great. Finally, uh, I thought this was a Spency number. What do we got, Locke? Wow, oh. value, amazing. Um, oh, love it. What is that? Grillo. Oh, killer. That is. That's an Grillo. That's awesome. That, that is amazing. See, this is the thing about Grillo. It has this oyster shell flintiness that, yep. you know, your mind goes, 
Chablis, and then it goes na na na. And it's Sicilian as well, so we know it's going to be on vol volcanic soil. We yeah. know it's going to have a slight sort of degree of smokiness to it. That's a cool wine. Twenty-five bucks. Get, your, get a whole bunch one. of that. Yeah. Into it. The Grillo <laughs> and the and the Caruda are the absolute uh, value for money winners today. Uh, and then there's yeah. some exceptional wines across there. As Incredible well. wines, guys. Thank you so much. Yeah. Go. Ciao.